morning guys here we are out at Wilkins I'm doing uh, weather observations this morning so the Sun is actually down because it's about um, 2 a.m. local time so <laughs> out here getting some weather ops so we can land a plane later today hopefully so this is what the weather's doing at the moment got some strata queue over there beautiful sunset the shortened runway is just down here, out over there. Other side of the building not too bad. This is the viz meter, so it sort of measures the visibility in the air. This one over here is a solar shows you how low the clouds are. Come inside. We also rely on our own judgment of um, cloud heights and cloud amounts we don't just use the automatic weather station so from up here in the second story of the building get a pretty good view of what's going on and um we can have another look on the other side of the building so there's a little bit more cloud out there that's to the east most of our wind comes from that direction and then i'll plug it into the viewer meteorology computer whenever the um message pops up on the hour so I'll get into it. Radio guys here we've got our two time zones that we operate under. We've got about 3 a.m. local time and about 4 p.m. Zulu time. Use Zulu time because that's what the Bureau of Meteorology uses and everything flight related is all in Zulu. Now I'll come to this computer here which has got our automatic weather station hooked up to it so we can tell that the wind is coming from the northeast at the moment at a direction of 51 degrees, speed of 20 knots, gusting up to 21 knots. Um, yeah, that's what's going on at the moment. Our Q and H is 981.4. Uh, local time, that's all wrong for whatever reason. Um, dry bulb at the moment, so it's minus 15.1 degrees and dew point is minus 19 degrees. So it's a bit chilly out there. Relative humidity is 72%. Now, max and minimum temperatures since 9 a.m. Zulu time is minus 6. Maximum, minimum of minus 15.3. So, a bit going on there. When we pop round to um, our next time slot, this machine will pop up and I'll input the rest of my information like I've had, had here on my last one, which is um, our type of present weather, type of cloud, and uh, all that other little bit of information from the automatic weather system gets added here on this hard copy sheet. So, not too much in it, it's a little bit boring, uh, especially when the weather's being as nice as it is today, but we'll uh, hopefully get a plane on the ground today, which is a good start. Alrighty, so here we're going to do a weather ob jump now. We're going to put our minimum visibility in, which is about 20 kilometres at the moment, but due to the system we write 9999 because we cannot use CAV OK, which is clear day great visibility basically in aviation speak, um, down in Antarctica because we don't have the correct parameters with uh, surface definition and horizon definition. So because we've got no significant weather, we'll click no significant weather recent weather no significant we've got about three octas of strata q out there this morning at a height of about five thousand feet and um another little thing we're going to do is add in our plain language for our pilots the fact that we have sorry I'm spelling mistake That's shorthand for surface, which is fair, surface contrast, HZN for horizon, which is also fair. So we add that in our plain language so our uh, pilots can see that we don't have great surface definition or horizon definition. So it's quite hard to see the ground here in Antarctica, as strange as that sounds. Um, it's easy enough to trip over your own feet, a little bit harder to land a plane. So we'll put that, all that information in there and then we will send this and uh, that goes on the World Wide Web now and it's uh, available for our forecasters and uh, pilots to see.